To protect the crew from a mishap with its own ammunition, the rounds are housed in a compartment at the rear of the turret with blast doors that separate and safeguard the crew. Should the ammunition be ignited by enemy fire, the explosion is vented upward away from the crew. This once secret test footage demonstrates that in spite of detonation, the blast doors protect the crew from the fire. While crew survivability was at the center of the Abrams design, additional attention was put toward making the tank more fightable. Thus, the other key aspect of the M1's design was its weapon system. Previous generations of tanks had to stop to fire, while the Abrams and other modern tanks can fire on the move. The computer-controlled stabilization system keeps the gun aimed at the same point, no matter how much the tank is jostled around by the rough terrain. The M1 is really effective with the stabilization system, which is built in, whereas on the old tanks, it took a lot of short halts where you stop, move, and stop, move. Of course, with the M1, you can continue to ride anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour and fire and get a first round hit. Several systems are employed to ensure the accuracy of the gun. A muzzle reference system measures barrel warp caused by the heat of repeated firings. A wind sensor checks for crosswinds that would cause a round to go astray. And a laser rangefinder precisely measures the distance to within inches of the target. The fire control computer combines data from these systems to compute a real-time firing solution that is highly accurate even at ranges greater than one mile. The speeds of kills on a modern battlefield are going to be totally different than they used to be where you would shoot multiple times and uh, not get hits. And, uh, and nowadays, uh, you have over a 90% probability of hit even while moving. Modern electronic systems simplify the work of the tank crew. But to survive in today's fast-paced battles, tankers must hit their targets much faster and with greater accuracy than ever before. Training stresses the need for both speed and accuracy. The target will come up and stay exposed, depending on what type of engagement it is, anywhere from 40 to 50 seconds. And then they will uh, be expected to kill it within 12 seconds. You have about five seconds reload time for the crew in case they have to fire a second round. But normally we get them on the first round. The Abrams gun sight employs a thermal imager, able to sense the minute temperature differences between man-made objects like tanks and the natural environment. This enables them to identify enemy tanks at night or when they are hidden by smoke or camouflage. Innovations in tank design since World War II allowed tank crews to drop in size from five men to four. We have a driver, his basic uh, job is to seek positions. Uh, that's in the process of uh, handling the driving portion. And we have the loader, he basically take care of the area watch and also the rear uh, section of the tank. And we have the gunner, uh, he's to identify and acquire targets and fire them as well. And myself, I'm the tank commander, I pretty much keep control and uh, overwatch over each other position. The Abrams proved itself an invaluable weapon during Operation Desert Storm in 1991 and led the charge into Baghdad during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. France has long been a pioneer in tank design. The Renault FT-17 tank was the first true modern tank, with its main weapon located in a fully traversable turret. French tank designers continued this tradition with the development of the Leclerc main battle tank. Named in honor of Marshal Philippe Leclerc, 
who led the Free French 2nd Armored Division in the liberation of Paris in 1944. His namesake tank entered service with the French Army in 1990. The Leclerc has a traditional turret design, but incorporates many advances in its fire control system. The turret was designed around its innovative auto-loading system. The smoothbore 120 mm gun uses the same rounds as those used in the German Leopard and the American Abrams tanks. The long gun of the Leclerc provides the rounds a higher muzzle velocity, affording a greater range. A 7.62 millimeter machine gun sits atop the turret and is controlled from within the tank. It is also fitted with a larger 12.7 millimeter coaxial machine gun. The Leclerc's fire control system can track six targets at once, providing real-time imaging from all the tank's sensors and sights. This system can be operated independently by the gunner or the commander. A sophisticated battle management system integrates data from other tanks and upper levels of command. Tank crews no longer communicate simply by radio, but exchange critical information through digital data systems. The Leclerc was designed around a centralized computer architecture. In battle, the Leclerc is in constant communication with other armored vehicles in its unit. This allows the crew to be aware of the precise location, fuel status, remaining ammunition, and other relevant information for each vehicle in their battle unit.